Welcome to Resly. Uh, by now you've already signed up and logged in and you have an account and you're ready to go. You've started now the first quest and you're on your way. I'm going to go through what you're going to actually be using as you move around through Resly and where you can get all your course content, how to go about doing the assignments um, and quizzes and things like that, where, where you're going to find it in Resly. So all the navigation and the usage. Uh, but first, what is Resly? So you've no, already noticed that you, you've logged in and you see some things called XP and you, it looks like there's some quests in there. Um, there's some something about rewards and discussions and all this stuff. So it's actually a platform for learning course content using game mechanics. So we're going to treat the course that it's just like a video game. You're going to earn XP, badges, achievements, and even awards by completing quests that's based on the course content. And there's four different course types uh, that you're going to come across. There's going to be the course content itself. There will be a quest that's, that has a quiz in it. There will be quests that have assignments in them. And then there'll be quests that are based on your final ISU, which will be making your own game. And we'll talk about that more once we get to that point. The first page you see, you've already noticed that uh, as you log in, you end up with something that looks like this. And you have a list of different things down the middle, different things down the left, some information across the top. The first thing that uh, you notice, the, the largest part of the screen, is the quest navigation. So here you're going to find all the quests that are available to you. Um, any that you've actually already started, which would be in progress, um, and you can go back to any that you've already completed. Um, so already you've clicked on AA1 Navigating Resly since you're watching this video. Um, the next part, across the left, you have the course navigation. So each of these pages is going to be discussed throughout this presentation. Um, but right now, we're just focusing on the quest one. Uh, across the top, you have some user information, which displays all the XP that you've earned and your profile picture. There's also the maximum XP, which you can earn. So you can see it based on rank and see it based on the group. The group means the entire course. Right now, you should all be at the current rank of Tennis for Two. If you click on that, you'll see the different ranks that you will reach as you move through the course. They're based on video games across uh, time, and, and they're ordered essentially in their complexity, but also based on uh, the year that they were released. And then across the very top, you can make changes to your profile and you can log out. So that's where you can actually change some information about yourself that will be visible to your teachers and others in the class. Once you click on one of the quests, it shows you a little bit more information. So it gives you a description. So right now you're doing Navigating Resly, where you're learning the basics of using Resly. Uh, the Start Quest button, which you've clicked on, takes you to the quest so you can begin. The View T Details button will allow you to actually read through the quest without actually starting it. So if you don't want it to show up as being in progress, uh, then you can, you can still look at it and see what is available there to you. So you notice that uh, starting off, there's actually two quests that are available to you. Obviously, you should be starting with AA1 so that you understand how to go through Resly. Um, but there's, there can be more than one available to you at any time. So you could check the details and see which one you want to go through first. Uh, we recommend following in order, of course, but there may be times where you can do different ones at different times. Uh, once you get into the quest, so if you start the quest, uh, or if you're just viewing it, you can see the information that's available to you. So this is actually the quest navigating Resly that was almost completed, but since I'm working on the video now, there's no video inserted there on my screen. You would have the video inserted. So all quests will follow this same format. There's instructions across the top, there's videos, there's most likely a PowerPoint, and then there's most likely some practice questions. So for this, there's no practice questions. We're just going through how you can access different parts of Resly. Um, but when you're doing the course content, there will be practice questions that you'll have to submit. At the bottom, there's submission details, so it tells you what to do once you have actually gone through the video, maybe done the PowerPoint, and even any practice questions. Um, you may need to upload files to Google Classroom, depending on what it is, and that'll be discussed in the next quest that you reach after we complete uh, navigating Resly. 
after you click on the complete button, uh, you're going to see this screen. So this is going to be a little bit of a pop up. Um, you can enter information into this box and you can even add attachments. We're going to ask that you submit through Google Classroom. Um, so you won't be adding attachments here very often, but you will be filling in comments. So you'll have to fill in a comments in, in order to submit anyways. Um, if there's nothing specific that we want you to type, it may just say like it does here, uh, just type complete and submit the quest. So that's what you're going to do after you've gone through this video. After you reach that, you're going to hit a quest feedback page. So after the completion screen, you'll be given an opportunity for a couple things of feedback based on your completion time and your rating. This is optional, but it would be appreciated if you at least fill out the completion time because it helps us for planning um, any future quests and anything that we can add or take away to help you move through the quests um, much more efficiently. Um, once you have completed the quest, you then see that your XP has increased. So I completed the first quest here. Now my system XP is up to 10, my group XP has gone up to 10, and my rank XP has also increased. So I'm getting closer and closer to that rank number two. Uh, now also, uh, once you complete a quest, if that quest was a part of a prerequisite for another quest, a new one might appear. So before we only had AA1 and AA3, now AA2 has appeared. So now we'll be able to actually do the quest that discusses how to uh, upload file submissions using Google Drive and Google Classroom. Okay, since I completed the first one. And you'll also notice that across the top of the quest there, it says that I've completed one quest. Uh, the rewards page along the left hand side will list any badges, achievements, and awards that you may have gained throughout the course. And that'll be populated as we move through the course. You'll notice things that will be popping up in there that will give you some extra XP or just the badges in general. The group page shows you everyone that's in the class. So right now you can see myself, which is Fatebringer, and Mr. Lane, who's Unyielding Judgment. The discussion and announcement pages may be used throughout the semester. The discussion page might be a good place for us to discuss any problems that you're having with uh, any of the different parts of the course or any of the content, things like that. And the announcements page will be where I might put some information about anything that's coming up, uh, whether it's due dates or just uh, general reminders that you need to get your quests done. That's it for navigating Resly. If you want to go back to the screen, if you're already on it, at the bottom of the quest page, you should be able to click complete and start earning your XP.